what is quickest in a drag race. The new Ford Raptor, which is the most powerful pickup truck you can buy new in the UK, or a tuned Mercedes X-Class, or a tuned Volkswagen Amarok. Well, we're gonna find out because I'm gonna race them over the standing quarter mile because I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, car, wow. Now, let me tell you about this X-Class. It's been modified by Deranged, so they've done so much to this thing. Not only have they tweaked the engine with an ECU remap, new intercooler, all that kind of stuff, they've also fitted a body kit on it. They've re-trimmed the interior with lovely leather, some marvellous Recaro seats. They've even fitted it with some steps to get in and out, plus air suspension and handy today it's on some rotars some mixed in pilot sports none of your off-road nonsense here it's also been lowered to make it more aerodynamic that should help with the top speed speaking of which this thing is powered by a three litre turbocharged diesel engine and thanks to the range it now puts out 300 horsepower and 700 newton meters drives all four wheels via a seven speed automatic gearbox there is no launch control but it probably won't need it because the four wheel drive system should do its job it's not the lightest machine though it's 2.3 turns and the prize well when it was new Derange built it for a customer, it's £90,000. However, it's for sale now, used for £65,000. If you're interested, check them out. Derange links it in the description. While I'm at it, I'm going to tell you about that tuned Amarok. That's from a company called Darkside Developments. And that thing has a three litre V6 diesel, but they fitted a new turbo on it, intercooler, some exhaust system and stuff like that. And it puts out 340 horsepower and 770 newton meters of torque. It drives all four wheels via an eight speed automatic gearbox. The price of that if you want to buy it £48,000 you can check out that very vehicle by following the link in the description from Darkside Developments. Finally we come to the only non-modified pickup truck here and it's the Ford Ranger Raptor and let's find out about it from model and TV presenter Jodie Kidd. Hey Jodie how are you? I didn't hear you. <laughs> Hopefully you're on your phone researching stats for that Ranger Raptor. Have you got the stats for me? I certainly do. So it's a three litre twin turbo V6, which punches out a massive 292 horsepower and a whopping 583 newton meters of torque. But it's heavy. It's two and a half tons and it's a 10 speed auto. So you might think the numbers are impressive, uh, but you've got less power than either of the Germans and you've got more weight and you've got less torque. And yours is a petrol and these are both diesel. So it's probably less efficient as well. I know, but it looks the best. Yeah, because that's on like special like Fox suspension and stuff like that, some big knobbly tyres, which actually aren't going to help you on this runway. They're not going to help you at all. No, it is. This has uh, been designed to do off-roading with this particular setup. So no, I don't think it's going to perform that well on a uh, runway. Now, if you like these kind of videos and you haven't done so already, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. Now, before we race, we're going to do the customary car my sound check. So I'm going to rev up this Mercedes X-Class. Sounds a bit diesel-y. Let's have a listen to your Ranger Raptor and its petrol V6. So it's got a soft limiter. You know, it sounded like it was gonna be good, then it just like kind of faded away, a bit like a moo from a dying cow. It's like moo. Do it again. There is a bit of a moo action, but she will sound very, very different when we actually go. Yeah, I hope so, because like I say, it sounds like it's dying at the moment. Let's have a listen to the Amarok. Go and rev up the Amarok. Okay, quick vote then. I'm going to give the sound test to the Amarok. What do you reckon, Jody? Yeah, I'm afraid that sounded pretty damn good. Yeah, so I think it's one nil already to the Amarok. Now, if you're thinking about buying yourself something new, maybe a new pickup truck, and you need to sell your current vehicle, you can do it through CarWow. Now, all you have to do is upload some photos of your car, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on your car. Then you just accept the highest offer. They'll come to your house, take the car away, put the money into your account. It's easy. If you want to do that now, click on the pop-out banner up there or follow the link in the description below. Alternatively, you can do it at a later date by simply Googling Help Me CarWow, and we will help you sell your car. Now, let's race. Oh, this is quick. Come on, baby, come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Wow, there's a lot of smoke coming out. Oh no! Oh 
So, Jody, you've got an all right start. Maybe you could be a bit quicker off the line, but you seem to be ahead of the Amarok, but then it did it come past? Yeah, I think it did right at the last moment. I mean, both of you had so much kind of smoke coming out the back of your two trucks. We were just rolling coal, wrecking the planet as we drove at the runway. Very quickly, though. Yeah, but quicker than you. Let's give it one more go, because I think that that Amarok might be able to do a better job. Yeah, so this has got so much power. The gearbox is having a midlife crisis and doesn't know what to do. I know, it feels about the midlife crisis. Three, two, one. Oh my God. Oh no, they're gone, they're gone. That launch in the Amarok was just insane. Oh my gosh! Well, whatever you did in that Amarok, <laughs> it definitely worked. That was just off the line, like, well, not like any blooming pickup truck or VW Amarok I've ever seen. Yeah, this is really, really good. And the standard car, the, well, I say car, standard pickup truck, the only one here, the Ranger Raptor. Is it all smooth? Works perfectly? It's just not quick enough? I mean, it is, it's a beautiful car. It's an amazing car. Yes, and obviously a lot slower than you guys, but I reckon I'll beat you off-road any day. Definitely with those tyres, you'll beat me off-road, but we're not going off-road. This is about the drag strip. We're going to remain here. Let's do one more race. It's one each between the two tuned diesels. And you can just watch us race. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the start there. Oh, it's closer. <laughs> and his gearbox was struggling then. Still, they're pulling away. But he's coming past. Oh! Well, I got a good launch there and I beat you off the line in the Amarok, but then you came past and oh my God, it's like it almost stops when it changes gear. What's going on? The gearbox and this power aren't meant to be matched, so it doesn't know when to shift up. Yeah, this one works better, but ultimately that Amarok is quicker. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Volkswagen won, completing the standing quarter mile in 15.2 seconds. The Mercedes came second with a time of 15.6 seconds and the Ford was last, crossing the line in 16.4 seconds. Now we have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. The trucks are in their just normal modes and automatic modes for the gearbox. We're gonna race to the half mile. I'm gonna call it in when everyone is level. Three, two, one, go. Oh, this took forever to kick down. Go Raptor! Go Raptor! Go Raptor! Oh, I'm beating the mark! I'm beating the mark! Can I catch the Raptor up though before we reach the half mile? Come on Raptor! Well, Jody, that was interesting. Your gearbox clearly changed down quicker than mine did and you got ahead and then stayed ahead of me. Absolutely. There was no chance you were catching up then. But that Amarok, was that in like normal mode and automatic mode? Because it was, surely you cheated. <laughs> this is mad. It shifts much earlier when it was in a rolling, but when you launch it off the line, it goes all the way to above five, hits the limiter and gets confused. But when I did the rolling race, it was shifting at about four and a half and it was really good. But I can't even believe that the initial like kick down, it was like instantaneous. It was straight out the box. What a machine. Let's take the kick down of the gearbox out of the equation, right? Let's have another go. Okay, now we're going to have a rolling race. This time though, we're going to have the trucks in their sportier setting and locked in third gear. So we're going to change gears manually. Race to the half mile, starting from around 30 miles an hour. Okay, everybody level? Right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Good pick up on this. I'm ahead of the four, just. Oh, we're close. Ah! I don't think she's going to close it. We're going to do it. Ah. 
That was very close between me and you, Jodie. That was really close. I don't really want to talk about the Amarok, do you? No, I'm just ignoring everything that's happening on my right. Yeah, this is just a two-truck race. The, the other thing that, that doesn't exist. <laughs> it's so fast, isn't it, Sam? It's really good. It's, the funny thing is, though, I thought I was going to be doing about 400 miles an hour, and when I crossed the half mile, I was just doing 100. It felt like I was moving Earth. <laughs> we weren't even doing 100. Oh, my God. OK, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's trucks for you. Finally, then, we're going to have a brake test to see which of these trucks stops in the shortest distance from 70 miles an hour. Now, if you'd rather watch another drag race involving some pickup trucks, some American ones, click on the pop hat banner up there for the link in the description below. If not, stay here for the brake test. And when we reach the line, full emergency stop. Here we go, here comes the line. Yeah, yeah, I won something. I won the brake test. Oh, that's bloody bollocks. <laughs> I think I might be at a severe advantage by the fact that I've got road tyres on, whereas you've got big knobbly tyres. Yeah, absolutely, because that's totally unfair. I just kept on going. I know. Do you want to have another go, see if it does any better? Do you have some different tyres? There's no point, is there? Do you think it is what it is? It is definitely what it is, because it just, you know, it's hard. You can't get any traction. OK, well, yay, I won something. Really pleased about that. Anyhow, big thanks to the guys at Deranged and Darkside Developments for sorting these trucks out and to Jodie Kidd for taking part. Remember, you can actually go and follow her on her channel, Kinder Sweet Shop. The link is in the description below. And if you are looking for a very useful four-wheel drive vehicle for your family, I found them through Carway at a good price. So if you want to see what the car is and what the deal is through Carway, click on the pop-out banner up there for the link in the description below. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Click on those windows there for some more videos. And on that box there to go to Carway to sell your car, just upload some photos, give a brief description. Then dealers all across the country will bid on your car. It's easy. Thanks for watching.